love, I hope you're doing very, very well. Very, very well. Today, in the store, in the perfume store, we have uh, some new fragrances that came in and we are going to unbox them together and enjoy some good with the glass tapping box tapping liquid sounds. So these are new testers. They are all Ariana Grande fragrances, which uh, you might not expect from this store, but she's actually really good at making perfumes and I smelled all of these and they smell really, really good. And this one, Cloud, I don't know how uh, in the female fragrances you are, but it's actually a dupe for a very, very expensive fragrance, um, which I actually have not smelled because even in our very nice store, they don't put out testers for it because it's so expensive. So I just have to take the word of the people in the Reddit fragrance groups, fragrance groups, that it smells exactly like that, or at least very close to it. So, these uh, might be kind of like teenager, teeny bopper bottles, which I must admit, I actually really like um, the art of them. So we're just gonna shamelessly uh, enjoy them together and then we have these little testing strips definitely not cut from watercolor paper but I thought that was a good idea because it would hold liquid well um, and then we will look at all of the other fragrances that we have but first R-E-M by uh, Ariana. Shija. This reminds me of, you know, in the 70s, I guess I don't need that. You know, in the 70s, they had like the like space age, like uh, mind control, robotic women who would uh, be aliens and they would mind control men who came to their planet. This reminds me of that. But the bottle is super pretty. And it smells really good. Maybe we don't need a knife. Sometimes I need the knife. Clean that up before the store opens. Because the store is closed right now, we're just getting the testers ready. Ridiculous. Ridiculous bottle. So again, with the kind of like alien landscape look, This is glass. This is plastic. Oh my gosh. So jagged bottom. 
It looks very clear on video, but it's actually like a really light lavender, which I guess you'll be able to see more when this is in. It's, a, it's alien landscape. That's what I'm saying. Getting bright in there on you. This would be pretty difficult to decant into anything else because this does not screw off. So, good thing. turtle tortoise mascot who is very active right now he gets very excited about new fragrances and uh you know i could look, have looked at the notes which i really thought about and i actually know some of the notes that are supposed to be some of our existing perfumes but i decided to just kind of describe what I think they smell like. This one smells very vanilla-y to me. Very calming, despite how flashy the bottle is. Yeah, just really mellow vanilla. And we'll put that ridiculous thing there. Okay. Next is God is a Woman. A very pretty flowery box. And then Ariana Grande wearing the flowers on the back. is 91% naturally derived, clean ingredients, 100% vegan, and cruelty free. Oh, and this reusable base is made from 60% plant-based sustain sustainable materials. to you know give the box a good massage before I open the testers. Makes them happy testers. Makes them smell better.
how the words are a little bit raised. And the base has kind of a different feel to it. Like whenever you get those like plastic straws that are from like already recycled plastic. Kind of has a sandy texture to it. Yeah, I think this is the same. It has the same texture. The script. There we go. Mm. It has like a cut gem quality to it. Let's see what this one smells like. Pomegranate smells sweet, but not too sickly sweet. Has a very like oh, that makes sense because of the I don't know if she did this on purpose, but the you know how they say the Adam and Eve it wasn't really an apple, it was a pomegranate, and God is a woman. I I wonder. Yeah, it's like sugared, creamy pomegranate. I like to think that's why it's my color. Let's open, <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to say, let's open Cloud and heads up, it has the most ridiculous bottle, but this one might actually be the most ridiculous bottle. Let's do Cloud last. And actually, people layer scents a lot, and I think that the like light creamy vanilla of the REM one, and the little brighter kind of creamy pomegranate scent, I think those two layer really well. I have to. 
so this one is called thank you next it's a little glazed it has a pink Ariana Grande like a ripped newspaper design So this one's a broken heart. It has this like matte feel plastic on the bottom and then an acrylic stopper with X's and O's. It's a broken heart on it. I guess that's where they molded it. It's a little stair step design. It almost feels slightly rubberized inside to kind of like cradle the bottle, which is glass. Mitch, you'll have your turn to smell these. You'll be fine. I like the cube. It's very chunky and substantial. I know I keep saying these are creamy, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but they are. Wow, that's good. This one's like, I'm not a huge flower scent person. Whoa, I stepped off the side of the rug. I didn't fall. Um, I'm not a big floral flower scent person in general. I'm more into like woodsy scents, like almost unisex scents, which is why it's so strange that I ordered these for the store. I don't know what flower it smells like in particular. It's like sugary without being over the top sugary. 
And then a lot of those creamy notes. Very clean, fresh smelling, scented. Okay, now for cloud. Ariana, pearls in her hair. And to uh, like kind of holographic box. But it's funny on these fragrance, uh, this fragrance uh, group I'm in, people will post pictures of their collections and they'll have like Gucci and like Chanel and like all these like really, really expensive perfumes and then there'll be cloud in it. And it's just kind of funny because they're all like fancy glass bottles and then cloud which you'll see why this might stick out a little bit in a really like refined looking perfume collection oh good it has directions of how to put the bottle together i don't know if you could figure i don't know this might be some people's first perfume but if it were it would be a good first perfume this is strong. Okay. So we have a clear ish blue acrylic cloud top. We have a glass bottle. I guess you could just take these out, but it's funny because whenever I see them with the fancy perfumes, no, they keep them in the cloud. It is what it is. And I like the bottle design. It's, it's different. So we have this kind of rubberized plastic bottom. Oh, and the perfume this is supposed to smell like is... Uh, MFK 540, which I think is about $400 a bottle. But this, like the larger size of Cloud, which is I think 3.4 ounces, 65. So there's a little bit of a price difference. Um, but you can get the one milliliter bottle of it at Walmart, I think, for, for $25. So. It's a good, accessible perfume. I really just like the chunk of acrylic. And it's really, really clear acrylic. It goes well with the glass. smell this in the store, it smells so good. In the, in the uh, perfume trade show store, when I was looking for perfumes for my store. Like, it's more complex. Like her other ones are like more simple, you know, pretty but simple. This is definitely a more complex scent. Mm. It's like Woody. I would almost think this is unisex, which would be amazing to see a man with this on his dresser. I mean, it is sweet, but it has like a substantial base. 
hitting myself in the face. <laughs> yeah, I guess the cat couldn't really find this one. They smell like oranges and sugar and then probably like sandalwood because there's a good like woody base to it. But the top notes probably wouldn't be a guy scent. Yeah. But it is definitely the most complex of these obviously very complex scents. They're so good. Yeah, I thought the Gabrielle Chanel was big, but but this these are literally in a kind of different place, but story different way so the store is about to open and we are going to get all ready her open sign on pick up trash and then we will be back with kind of a part two of all of the other scents that we have that you can choose from but hopefully i'll see you at that one bye